Let's have a look at the chain rule for functions of several variables. Before we do that, let's just quickly review the chain rule for the case when we have a function of one variable. Let's call this the old scenario. In this case, I have a function y is a function of u. As an example, y could be equal to e to the u. u is in itself a function of x. As an example, we could have u equal to x squared. I can take the composition of these two functions and write y as a function of u, and u is g of x. So with this composition, y becomes a function of x. I have previously denoted this composition by h of x, but I want to use h for a different purpose in this lecture. So let's denote it by capital F of x. In my example, my composite function is y is equal to e to the u and u is x squared. f is called the outer function and g is called the inner function, while capital F is called the composite function. Now the chain rule for composite functions tells us that the y dx, which is the same thing as the derivative of capital F, is given by the product of the derivative of the outer function f prime g of x multiplied by the inner derivative g prime x. In our example, we have dy dx equal to the derivative of e to the u is e to the u, then replace back u with x squared. This is my outer derivative, and my inner derivative is the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So let's consider a new scenario. In this new scenario, y is a function of not only u, but also v. So y is now a function of two variables, u and v. As an example, let's say that y is equal to u times e to the v. We keep this assumption, u is some function of x. But in this case, v is itself a function of x. So that's another function, h of x. As an example, we could go with u is equal to x squared, and we could go with v is equal to 4x plus 1. Again, I can create a composition here. y is equal to function of, the first variable is u, I can replace that with g of x, and the second variable v, I can replace that with h of x. This is now a composite function of two variables where each of the variables in turn depends on the variable x. Since this expression only involves the x variable and this expression only involves the x variable, the composite function will be a function of only x. In my example, y is equal to u times e to the v, well u is equal to x squared, e to the and v is equal to 4x plus 1. This is my composite function, capital F of x. So here is the new result. The derivative of the y dx, which is the same thing as capital F prime x, is now equal to. I need to take the derivative of f. In this case, f depends on two variables, so I begin by differentiate with respect to the first variable. Then I replace u and v with my g and h functions, multiply that by the inner derivative g prime x. But in this case, y also depends on the v variable. So I need to do plus, then the partial derivative with respect to v, g of x, h of x, multiplied by the inner derivative h prime x. This is the chain rule for a function of two variables where each variable in turn depends on another variable. So let's see if we can figure out the derivative of this composite function. I will just retype my functions f of u comma v is u e to the v. u which is g of x is x squared. v which is h of x is 4x plus 1. First we need the partial derivative with respect to u that's just e to the v. The partial derivative with respect to v, well, that's u times e to the v. 
g prime x one of the inner derivative is 2x and h prime x the inner derivative of the second function is 4. so from the chain rule this guy we know that the derivative of the composite function x squared e to the 4x plus 1 is equal to f prime u e to the v and then replace v with 4x plus 1 multiplied by g prime x plus f prime v u e to the v x squared e to the 4x plus 1 multiplied by 4 or rephrasing this slightly 2x e to the 4x plus 1 plus 4x squared e to the 4x plus 1. We can double check that this is true by differentiating this function immediately. Then by the product rule this is derivative of the x squared term 2x e to the 4x plus 1 plus first term as it is and the derivative of e to the 4x plus 1 is 4 times e to the 4x plus 1 and we can see that these are indeed the same.